Hi guys, this is my recap and reaction to Welcome to Plathville Season 6, Episode 8. In this episode, I would call it's a potpourri of seeds. We learn more about Mariah's terrible breakup with a mystery man, Micah and Veronica are still super awkward on camera, and Olivia has the weirdest house party of all time, with Micah's old friends, by the way. The episode starts with Micah and his new girlfriend, Veronica. She's finally showing her face, and they're going to the beach together. Micah is trying to get the scene going, kind of, but Veronica's awkwardness on camera is just next level, in my opinion. Micah says that the last time they were here was a year and a half ago on their second date. Micah starts immediately throwing a frisbee and asks her to go get it. He's throwing his shoes too for some reason. And she's like, what am I, a dog? And in her first interview, the producer asks what she loves about Micah. She says that he has golden retriever energy and looks good, basically. But she's taller than him and initially thought that he wouldn't like her because of that. And yes, Veronica is very tall and she's kind of way taller than Micah, which is unexpected. Then they get into a little tiff about whether or not last time they were here, he threw her in the water or not. They also have a super awkward, in my opinion, embrace on the beach. The producer asks if they're in love and after a very long pause, Micah says they're in real love. It's not always bliss. There's this, you know, these ups and downs, I guess. So, right? Because if you're infatuated only and it's not real love, you only see the good. But if it's real love, there's bad moments too, I guess is his point. There's this recurring thing where Micah says that there's a lot of fighting, but also good times. Doesn't exactly sound completely ideal. We can't really see how bad their fights are, but we see hints of Micah being whipped and Veronica maybe trying to call the shots. Hints of that. And meanwhile in LA, Olivia misses farm life, and so she's going to a farm with her sister Lydia. Olivia is just out there for storylines this season because she's so far removed from the family, clearly, and Olivia also has this education session about, well, sexy time for some reason. She said that in purity culture, when you're married, it's all about the man. And now that just doesn't work for her anymore. So she's also seeing this new guy and doesn't want to mess it up, in my opinion. So farm stuff and sexy time education in this episode for Olivia in LA. What a combo. In the next scene, Ethan is back in Cairo and is having a bonfire with his little sisters. He wants to talk to them about his divorce to Olivia, but he also feels kind of scared to do it because he feels like he's just a terrible example for them, but on the other hand, doesn't want them to be in the same position. I was expecting Ethan to kind of open up a little and give words of advice or something very high level to his baby sisters, but he doesn't really get into it at all. He just kind of states it and as an FYI, like, by the way, you guys know we're divorced. Amber wishes that maybe she could have asked questions, but she felt like in that moment she shouldn't. But basically, he just said, yeah, we're divorced. And then they went to climb a tree. He tells the producer that what he knows is that cooking is the way to a man's heart. He's doubling down on that one. He says that when Olivia did cook him dinner, he felt taken care of and that when she stopped doing that, um, she, he felt like she didn't care anymore. He also thinks the root of the problem was that Olivia hated the way she was raised and this affected them in a lot of their marriage. Now we're at a farm for one thing Olivia does miss from her childhood, farming and milking cows. And excuse me, is Lydia barefoot at the farm wearing no shoes? What is happening here? Olivia and Lydia have a competition to see who can milk a cow best. Olivia wins by a long shot, so she gets the cred from the farmer who is watching the competition. 
Olivia then goes on a rant about her whole life. She was defined by being a good wife, a good sister, a good sister-in-law, and she even said a stand-in mom at some point. Excuse me, Shade. This is the first time in her life that she can just focus on herself and be her. There's another scene now with a new friend we've never seen before, Mariah's friend. They go get this cute coffee with a strawberry on it and a cinnamon bun, and the friend says that she taught Mariah who Usher is. Mariah says, I'm a plath. I have no idea who Usher is, basically. Mariah tells the friend that her last relationship, the secret one, which it's so frustrating because we don't know much about it and I, I don't know. She says that it was the most damaging ever. She says she never experienced that much heartbreak before. She gave it her all and she wants to just be with her family now to recover. She also said that she's the one who ended things, so basically he must have messed up in this huge way. She's just struggling with it a lot and she's making a new album uh, and shooting a music video soon and we know that Mariah did write a really kind of dark album alluding to heartbreak. Something about she can't wait for September to end or something like that. I don't know, I initially thought maybe it was still about Max, but no, it was clearly about the new guy we knew nothing about. Micah is also filming with a friend, the guy from California. He's back in South Florida to visit him. This guy has come to California twice since the start of the season to visit Micah, and we know that the first time this guy met Veronica, she and Micah were in a big argument, and so the friend is not really sold on the relationship. He asks Micah about it, and Micah looks down and says there are a lot of ups and downs. Will suggests that Micah is whipped, and he just makes a face. That means, yes, he is. Micah says that he misses being free a little bit. Will's advice is to stick to his own speed. There's weird cryptic references to putting a ring on it, but I mean... Micah's 22, and they're just a lot of red flags. And in the final cringe scene, Livia invited, get this, a few of Micah's old friends from two years ago that had come to Mariah's, like, I don't know, something on the beach. Um, they're at the party, and they do this anatomy pop quiz with this special educator, and everyone's laughing like they're in grade six. So awkward. The friends who are there are basically trying to be as funny as possible. I don't know if they're actors looking for airtime. I mean, it is LA. That's kind of the vibe I get, <laughs> but maybe they just needed people to attend Olivia's stupid party. I don't know, but what is this like couldn't she just get a private lesson or something like that from the lady anyways i hope you enjoyed my recap and reaction to welcome to plathville season six episode eight i mean this was kind of yeah a potpourri of things happening but um olivia struggling to find content to film i think is is my vibe and i'm not sold on micah's girlfriend quite yet all right, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments, and I'll be back with more recaps. Bye, guys.